Now, this week, the Scottish Health Secretary, Jean Freeman, stepped up her personal security after a man was arrested and charged with sending out threatening messages. Another day of bad headlines for Scotland's Health Secretary. Two children died in 2017 after being treated on a ward later closed because of infections linked to the water supply. And on top of that, another report that safety inspectors criticise staff training and equipment for dealing with infectious diseases last November. Jean Freeman insists she should stay in post. The Scottish Tories disagree. This drip, drip, drip of serious information uh, and concern about our NHS shows that the Health Secretary has lost confidence uh, of people and patients and parents. And for that reason, I think the NHS uh, requires fresh leadership. I want answers. I want to be clear what she knew. Yeah, and uh, Katie, Ruth Davidson has been talking about this in her column on in the Mail on Sunday. In the Mail, yes. Um, she has, um, I mean, it's really, um, she, you know, the, the her column is entitled, you know, Lies, More Lies and Why This Minister Has to Go. Suggesting Jean Freeman goes. She's, so, sorry, suggesting yeah, uh, yeah. Jean, Jean, Jean Freeman goes. Are you going to resign? Jackson Carlaw from the Conservatives going fairly strongly on this, very strongly on this, trying to say that the, the health, health secretary had uh, misspoke, basically. Tonight on Reporting Scotland, the health secretary says she knew in September that a child died after being infected by contaminated water at a Glasgow hospital. Not revealing it is not the same as not acting on it, and I acted on it. Good evening. The health secretary says she knew in September that a child had died after contracting an infection from contaminated water at the Royal Hospital for Children in Glasgow. But Jean Freeman says she didn't go public because of patient confidentiality. Good evening. The family of a 10-year-old girl who died while being treated at Glasgow's Children's Hospital say they feel they've been lied to. Good morning. The mother of a three-year-old boy who died while being treated at Glasgow's Queen Elizabeth University Hospital has claimed she was ignored by the Health Board and the Scottish Government. I have fought for two years to keep this private because I thought that I was doing the right thing to ask for the help from the Government, from my Health Secretary, from the First Minister. But sadly, um, me doing the right thing and doing, you know, going through the right procedures, it didn't work. There was no one listening to me and no one wanted to help.